In this video, I'll be elaborating on the concept of SAP GCTS, which stands for SAP Global Consolidation and Transportation System. Let's cook something today. SAP GCTS is a feature that allows you to use Git as a version control system for your app development objects. As you know, Git is a popular tool to help developers collaborate, track changes, and manage different versions of their code. With SAP GCTS, you can store your web objects in Git repositories and synchronize them with your SAP systems. This way, you can benefit from the advantages of Git while working in familiar web environments. To use SAP GCTS, you need to enable it on your S4 HANA system and configure it with your Git provider such as GitHub. You also need to create two repositories for your workbench and customizing objects. Then you can assign your above objects to your repository using GCTS registry, which is a new feature that simplifies the distribution of objects across repositories. When you release a transport request, the content of the request is pushed to the corresponding repository in Git. SAP GCTS also provides a Fury app that lets you to manage your repositories, view status of the transport request, and perform various operations such as pull, push, merge, and reset. You can also set permissions and collaborate with other developers using teams and collaborators. Additionally, you can use GCTS to deploy and import objects between different SAP systems using Git as a transport medium. SAP GCTS is a powerful and flexible features that integrate Git with the SAP change and transport system. It enables you to leverage the best practices of Git for your app development projects. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and share it. Thank you for tuning in.